We are. Uh, this is the fourth question, and it says, if we do not feel... I'm so sorry. I think the first question just popped up again. <laughs> One second. <laughs> the outward appearance of a Christian matters. Okay. All right, Renee, would you go first? Yeah, well, this is this is a little bit vague, but let's say the outward appearance, meaning their lifestyle. Matters to what? It matters to other Christians. It matters to God, too. It doesn't matter to your salvation. Uh, your outward appearance has nothing to do with whether you're saved or not. Uh, it's whether you trust what Jesus has done. It's his merits that rescued you. Not See, people still think eternal life is some reward for being a good person or living a good enough life. And that's not what salvation is. Salvation is you're saved, you're rescued, you're helpless. And only the blood of Christ reconciled you to God. It has nothing to do with you on the outside. Now, uh, a Christian's outside matters because once you're saved, how you live affects your testimony and your witness and therefore affects how readily the gospel message will be taken seriously by others. Also, it gives uh, God a bad name if a Christian lives in hypocrisy or lives in a state of overt rebellion against what God says is, is good and right and just. So the outside of a Christian matters very much uh, in regards to evangelism and serving the purpose that Christ has for his church here. There's many warnings about judging ourselves so that we won't have to be chastised by God. So, yeah, it matters very much, but it doesn't matter in regards to salvation. There's nothing to do. Salvation is literally a rescue for helpless dead people. You were dead and you need to be brought to life, quickened by the Spirit of God. And you get that by faith. He told the Galatians, receive you the Spirit by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith. So we were quickened, brought to life in Christ because we heard the message of what he did for us, not what we're doing. Once that's done, the outside matters very much uh, in the effectiveness and service to God because we're a people saved unto good works. That is our purpose. So yes, it does matter, but it doesn't matter in regards to salvation. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, thank you. All right, Brother Jordan, what do you say? Yeah, I actually read this question in two ways, so I'm going to give my thoughts on both. But, of course, um, the outward appearance in terms of behavior and um, our conduct definitely matters. You guys have to remember that as a Christian, we are to be the salt and light in the world, something different, because that, that something different is what attracts people to learn more about your testimony and the gospel. If people know you're a Christian and they see you react to a situation in a completely different way that's out of the norm, they're going to see the beauty behind that. They're going to see the Holy Spirit moving and they're going to want to know how you did that. One of my friends, um, she actually was my guest a few weeks ago on my podcast. She was talking about how during this time of COVID, statistics have shown that the group of people with the least anxiety were Christians. And when we have a world that's just falling apart in confusion and despair, the fact that we have the ability to remain calm, remain peaceful, remain in love, not go out and start fights with people over toilet paper, you know, that's something very different than what the rest of the world is operating under. And people want that peace. They want that um, assurance that everything's going to be okay. They want to know why are you okay with everything that's going on when the world literally seems like it's going to end. And it's because we already know the end and we already know the victory that is had in Jesus. And so we're not afraid. This world can throw anything at us. I'm not saying anybody who's experienced moments of anxiety during this past year are in the wrong and 
um, that makes you less of a Christian. I'm just saying that as an example, but I'm sure there have been numerous times in your life where you've reacted in a way that you may not have when it was you in the flesh, but when you walked in the spirit, you responded completely differently. Now, taking it in another direction, and I'm sure this isn't the direction it was meant to be spoken in, but I'm going to go ahead and touch on it anyway. Does the outward appearance of a Christian matter um, in terms of how we dress and um, how we make our appearance look? And again, I'll say yes to that as well. Um, again, we are a billboard, billboard for Christianity. So if we are dressing in a way that is going to make others lust or fall into sin, we are not doing a good service as Christians to others when we're supposed to be leading them to Christ. We're not supposed to be leading people into a lifestyle of sin. We're supposed to lead them into a lifestyle of liberation from sin through the name of Jesus Christ. Um, so if we're out there dressing scandalously and um, provocatively, and just, I don't want to get too graphic with my language, but that's basically where I'll leave it. Um, you guys see the world we live in today. You know how people um, advertise themselves. And so there's this huge debate on modesty today. And I don't think it's wrong to preach modesty. I think we could benefit from it because I think we're seeing such a huge increase in pornography, which... People don't understand the dangers of pornography, not just for your psychological and spiritual health, but the fact that every time you click on pornography, you are contributing to sex traffickers and you don't even know it. You are providing finance to people who are going and stealing kids off the front lawns very much in your possible neighborhood. Um, every time you click, this is what people need to realize. If you are not paying for a product, you yourself are the product. And so the fact that you are clicking on anything, you are providing money to sex traffickers, sex offenders, and it's a, it's a very serious thing. And people don't understand that it can happen to any of us, that people can literally just be walking down the street in broad daylight and be completely taken off the street. And it's because of your porn clicks that they have the ability to do so. So in terms of your looks, that's one thing I would say. And I also, I touched on this, I believe it was last Fun Fellowship Friday or anything. I know that, um, you know, makeup and all that, uh, I, I'm not against it. I know people use it. I've had to use it myself for stage shows and stuff like that. It's not like I'm like, oh, if you're wearing makeup, you're sinning. Um, I'm just saying, like, if you're wearing it because you're insecure, um, I just, I really pray that you find security in Christ because. Again, going back to what I said last time, if you are looking in the mirror with low self-esteem, all that is is the enemy trying to provide a um, roadmap for you to hate the image of God since we are all made in the image of God. And when we latch onto the biblical truth that we are, we are all fearfully and wonderfully made, there's such amazing freedom in that. And something that I've noticed, um, because... Let's face it, I, it might surprise you guys, but I don't look like Zac Efron. But <laughs> I found that um, my confidence, despite not being the most attractive male in the world, it, it's, it's really appealing to some people because everybody struggles with insecurities, but nobody should have to because we all have something in us that's intri intrinsically valuable. And the moment we place our trust in the Holy Spirit, we have something more valuable that even the most attractive person who is unsaved cannot even fathom. And they will never know the beauty of a glorified body unless they repent. Wow. Okay, very good. Made some very good points, both of you. Um, you know, the, the last point you made there, made me think about uh, uh, beauty, the beauty of people. And uh, I, I don't know, this is an old movie. So many of you may have not have seen it, but it was called The Elephant Man. Uh, you should watch the movie. Uh, he, he's a horribly deformed person. Brilliant role, John Hurt played him. He was awesome. Yeah, yeah. 
but his his appearance, uh, his whole body, but particularly his head, was so deformed that uh, it, it, in some ways it's a very tragic story, but it's also a very, very inspirational story. But when I think of a beautiful person, uh, there's nobody I've ever seen that was more beautiful than the elephant man. And it, and it wasn't a physical beauty, but it was the beauty of his, his spirit. Um, and uh, I believe he was a believer. I, he, he loved the, the, the Bible and professed faith. And he, uh, but he was just, really, just watch the movie. I can't really, uh, I, I, there's no way I could really do it justice in terms of saying what a wonderful person he was, even with this horrible uh, thing that he had to bear and deal with the physical pain and the the ostracization. He was so ostracized and 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 hated by a lot of people only because he was physical appearance was was hideous, but his actual identity was beautiful. Um, but I, I think both of you answered the question covered all, all the, the, the bases. But uh, read it one more time to me, uh, the, the question again, uh, so I get it exactly right. Yeah, so it says the outward appearance of a Christian matters. Okay, so yeah, again, I agree with Renee. It's very vague, but I, I think we could go a lot of ways with it. But it does matter in a lot of ways. Uh, uh, obviously, the main thing, as Renee said, I'll, uh, uh, amen, uh, it does not matter in, as far as our standing before God. When we're born again, uh, our, we're in good standing and that nothing changes that. Outward appearances or anything else, nothing will, will change that. But it does matter in terms of our witness, how other people perceive us as a Christian, uh, how, they, how they will look at Christianity. Uh, and uh, so, so I would say that that would be uh, the, the number one effect that, would, that, that it matters. Um, and then, of course, uh, uh, keeping that in mind, if, if we don't care that, that, that it matters, then it matters in that respect. We should care about how we are, are, are representing Christ and how, how we, not only when it says outward appearances, it's not only talking about just the way we dress, but it's the way we behave. When people observe you, are they are they going to be impressed and think, well, wow, this person is really, it's really ideal in in some ways. They are really uh, uh, unusual. We're supposed to stand out like a sore thumb, but Jesus said it's a light, and that we shouldn't keep the light under the table. Let the light shine. And so it should be obvious to anybody who gets to know you that there's something different about you and something really good about you. And that's that's uh, Christ in you. Uh, and, if, and if that's not what you're giving off, that outward appearance is not that, then uh, you are uh, giving a bad representation of, of Christ in you. <laughs> 